and welcome back. Right, now that we've done that little chore, hmm, what's in here? Ah, he must be the a descendant of that guy's baby we named earlier. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. Now all you got to do, you've just got to leave the gash seeds to grow and that'll be it. You don't really need to worry about it. Now that witch is back again. Let's see if we can grab some stuff this time. Nothing interesting this time. I can't remember what... What is it you... You have to give us something later, like an ugly dollar or something. I can't quite remember what. Anyway, here's the temple. We've now got bombs. The wing dungeon. Do, do, do. Now these things, you flip these over and slash them because it's like turtle ones, spike turtles rather. But this temple is a pain in the ass, and it really, really, really is. I can't remember how you bloody get the red one up. Ah, that's it. Considering this is a game made by Capcom as well, it's really good. But yeah, in, bo in both games, there's uh, two different level of items. Although I don't really know why the... In this one, you get the power glove later... And in this, but in this one you get a jump, a feather to jump with. Whereas in the other version you get a, f you get the feather and a, then a cape. There's slight differences between the two, so it'll make you want to play both. But believe me, it's worth it. snakes. <laughs> it died. Right, if you see any walls like this as well, they're weak walls, so just get rid of them. Easy enough. Now, I can't remember what's down here. I don't think it's anything actually important. important, although I do want that hat. Oh, Link! Ah, I think you get just get a key from this. I was right, as I always am. <laughs> You're not that quick. Now you can obviously you can jump on the heads of them. So there's a, there's a few little platforming bits, but because we haven't got the jumping feather yet, we can't really do anything. But that's one thing that I have my eyes older for. It does have small platforming sections, even if they are like very small.
Ugh, why won't you move? Move! Oh, I have to kill the bloody snake. It's the that makes no sense. Now, in this game, you don't have to worry about a rupee limit either. You get 999 straight off the bat. I'm not sure whether that's the same in other games, though. Halfway boss, easy. And I've just got to wait for it to smash a hole in the floor. And then just pound away at it. Just a couple of round sh spin spin attacks will do it really like I said it's not a hard boss at all see job done now if I remember you have to go this way first yep can't remember what you get for beating these Nothing. Great. Ah, yeah, it's the other way that we need to be going. Well, uh, it's trial and error in this game, innit? Ah, it's this way. Can't progress through here either. Not until we get the secret to this dungeon. Which ironically enough is in the next room. I think. Gotta hate them, aren't you? There we go. Rock's feather. See that ha in Oracle of Seasons that has um, a level one on it. Great, I died. Come on, Link. No, I don't. Oh. There's a treasure chest in the next room and I need it. Damn. Well, I'm just gonna have to go back and get it. Okay, we need it. Go!
Well, thank God. That stopped mooning. Can I just say mooning or moaning? <laughs> I don't know, but it sounded freaking hilarious anyway. played on this game in years. Actually, I'm kind of glad in this way that I'm not doing Mario anymore. Primarily because... Well... Think about it. I've actually played this game, I know what I'm doing. But, yeah, I'm going to have to leave it for this episode, guys, so when we come back next time, I'll be carrying on through here. See you next time.